Sean McCaffrey, we are presenting a, an evaluation of a simple but novel approach to reducing the biomechanical errors found in Goldman type affination tonometry. The author, myself, has a vested interest in Intour Technologies, which owns the intellectual property being presented here. We have affiliations with Arizona Eye Consultants, the University of Arizona College of Medicine, and the College of Optical Science. Further affiliations include Johnson & Johnson and Alcon. We are presenting Goldman Tonometry Error Correcting Prism compared to intercamel pressure, which has been accepted in BMC Ophthalmology for publication. The purpose of the study is to evaluate a correcting applination tonometry surface prism, or CATS prism, and the reference tonometer GAT prism to a true gold standard of transducer measured intracameral pressure in live human eyes. It has been demonstrated over many decades of publications and even mentioned by Goldman himself 60 years ago that several IOP measurement errors are present. Those errors include corneal biomechanical errors of central corneal thickness, corneal rigidity, as well as corneal curvature, and separately, the corneal tear film adhesion force. Goldman prism primarily in the contact surface. As shown here, the Goldman bi prism has a flat contact with the cornea. The CAT stenometer prism depicted here is a replacement prism which fits any of the existing Goldman or Perkins tenometers without recalibration or alteration in measurement technique or interpretation. The primary difference is the contact surface, which is shown here to have a central concavity and annular convexity. This photograph demonstrates the difference in applinating surfaces. The flat Goldman prism surface is in the background and the Katz prism surface is in the foreground. The methods center around validating the findings in mathematical modeling and clinical testing. Since comparing intraocular pressure measurements to the Goldman as a reference does not say anything about improved accuracy over the gold standard Goldman, we wanted to compare the CATS and GAT measurement to a true transducer intracameral pressure in live human eyes. We manometrically modulated and measured the intracameral pressure on 58 unique eyes, sequentially from 10 to 20 to 40 millimeters of mercury. Simultaneously, we measured the intraocular pressure externally with a Goldman type Perkins applination tonometer using both the standard GAT prism and the CATS prism. We then correlated the difference in GAT and CATS IOP measurements from the true intracameral pressure to central corneal thickness and corneal hysteresis measured before surgery. We were able to demonstrate a scatter plot of the three intracamerally manometrically modulated pressures and the simultaneous IOP measurements with both the GAT prism red and modified CATS prism blue, noting a very similar bias from true intracameral pressure between the two prisms, except at low intraocular pressure, where the GAT frequently measured close to zero in the supine position, whereas the modified CATS prism would often measure a pressure. The Goldman showed central corneal thickness dependence and correlation with the sloped red line, and the CATS prism indicated CCT independence with the flat blue line. The correlations were statistically significant. A very similar dependence graph was demonstrated with corneal hysteresis that was nearly significant. The bias between the two lines was predominantly at low intraocular pressure in which the GAT measured close to zero in the supine position as it often does in hypotenuse eyes. The cats will actually measure an intraocular pressure when it is less than 10 millimeters of mercury. The difference in intraocular pressure accuracy to true intracameral pressure of the cats compared to the GAT was most significant in pressures of eyes in which the central corneal thickness was less than 530 microns. The takeaway from this study is that the CAT stenometer prism greatly reduces the CCT and hysteresis errors found in Goldman type applination tonometry. The modified CATS prism significantly improves intraocular pressure accuracy compared to true intracameral pressure, particularly in low CCT patients such as those less than 530 microns.
We also see an improved accuracy in patients with low pressures, such as those status post-trabeculectomy and shunt procedure. These findings indicate that the CAT stenometer prism device may also be particularly useful in pediatric populations and in refractive surgery patients. Determining a more accurate intraocular pressure, which will be examined further in the future. Thank you for your time and please contact me if you have any questions.